Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. In this episode, we're going to make a side dish that proves recipes don't have to be complicated to be delicious. This is our green onion mashed potatoes. Now, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's green onion and it's mashed potatoes. What I love about this recipe, though, is it takes sort of controversial mashed potatoes, which some people say are not that nutritious, and it puts tons of green onions right in the middle of it. Now it tastes really good, you have to give this a chance. So come on, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Let's cook. Here are the basic ingredients for our green onion mashed potatoes. First of all, you need a good boiling potato. I'm using these red potatoes. I have six medium-sized red potatoes and they just make this dish perfectly. If you don't have red potatoes in your area, just get any other boiling potato, you know, like the white potatoes or the Yukon potatoes, anything like that. The only thing I would not use is sort of the baked potato school because they will just fall apart. They're really not made to be boiled and mashed. The next thing we're going to use is three tablespoons of butter. We have one cup of milk. We're going to use one tablespoon of salt. We're going to use a teaspoon of pepper. And here we have what's going to turn into a cup of chopped green onion. And basically when they sell green onion in your local store, just use that entire bunch to make this. So we're going to have again a cup of chopped green onion. So let me show you how to put this together. Now mashed potatoes are a very funny dish in my experience. I've seen people fight over whether the mashed potatoes were too lumpy, not lumpy enough, they had some skin in the mix or they had no skin. And honestly, I like my mashed potatoes with the skin on. I just find that that skin gives it some texture. But if you're in the mood for just the smooth mashed potatoes, then you need to peel these mashed potatoes completely. Just peel that skin off. Now the one thing I guarantee you I do when I make mashed potatoes is I get the eyes out of them. Especially the gnarly, tough looking eyes or imperfections because I don't think that really makes the dish look all that great. So you can see me going through and I'm just getting the tough looking eyes, anything with like a little stemmy thing hanging off of it. So basically clean your potatoes. Now one thing you can do with this dish is if you want to meet me halfway and you like a little bit of skin but not all the skin, then you can just peel off some of the skin before you cook the mashed potatoes. But again, I like the texture that the skin brings and some people say that the skin also brings a little bit more nutrition into a good mashed potato. So again, it's totally up to you. It's up to the way you and the people in your house like it, but I'm making it the way I like it. I like it a little bit rustic. But if you come from a house that loves it just um, silky smooth with no skin in it, then I strongly suggest that you take the time to peel the potatoes before you boil them. All of the eyes have been removed. Now to speed the boiling process, since we are going to mash these, I'm going to quarter the potatoes because it really doesn't matter whether they come out whole or not. And I'm putting them right into our boiling pan. Okay, so there's our pan of potatoes ready to boil. Now I'm gonna fill it up to water, with water, right up to the top. I'm going to cover this. And then what I'm going to do is boil it for, bring it up to a boil, being careful that it doesn't boil over the top. Basically what you're going to do is put it on high, bring it to a boil, lower the temperature well below a quarter heat, let it continue to boil, and then after a half an hour at boil, you're going to test it with a fork. And I'm going to show you that next. Okay, so what you can see at this point is that the uh, potatoes are starting to boil and it's starting to boil over. Now when that happens, just set the lid a little bit off to the side and lower the temperature down. Now on my range, I can go down to low and the potatoes will still boil. So we want to boil these for a half an hour to 40 minutes and then we'll give them the fork test. If the fork slips off the potatoes real easy, then we'll know that they're ready to be mashed. So I'll see you shortly. 
Okay, so our potatoes are almost fully boiled. We're just about at the 30 minute mark. Your potatoes may take 40 minutes, but in the meantime, what we need to do is chop up our green onion. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of the rooty ends of the green onion. And then what we're going to do is chop the green onion into eighth of an inch slices. So we're just going all the way down, slicing it up. Absolutely love green onion. It already smells delicious and it's not even in the recipe yet. Now if you have any of the um, green onion stems looking brown or really limpid, be sure to discard those. I did already clean through this bunch of green onion before I just chopped it. I removed any of the green onion that didn't look like this. It didn't look um, lively and green and crisp and savory. So now what I'm going to do is just set this aside and go get the potatoes. So here's our fork test. We stick the fork into the potato and it's just sliding off very easily and the potatoes even crumbling so you know that it's soft enough to mash at this point. Okay, so I drained the water off of the potatoes. You can use a um, colander if you need to do this. Um, you can also just hold the cover against the pan. The main effort in this case is just to be careful not to scald yourself. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mash the potatoes. I'm adding our cup of milk. Our three tablespoons of butter, which you can, you know, you can kind of chop that up as you add it because it will melt faster. And then our teaspoon of salt. There we go. Now with the salt, I assume that people are going to also want to season it at the table. So don't go overboard in adding salt to your mashed potatoes. And then I'm just giving it a good sprinkling of ground black pepper. Now this is a really good recipe just to make basic mashed potatoes. At this point, you just made mashed potatoes, uh, not the green onion version. So if you're looking for a good mashed potato recipe, you just did it. Now if the potatoes come out um, too dry, you can add more milk to them. As you can see, they look a little wet at this point, but I have not mashed all the potato into it yet. That's the funny thing about potatoes, too. Again, mashed potatoes, uh, people go to war over these. Some people like them a little drier, some people like them a little wetter. So if you need to add a little bit more milk to it, then go ahead and do it. I just might need to right here. I'm starting to see that the, and the thing is that the potatoes they all have a different quality to them and that's why you may at times have to add a little bit more milk to the mix. Now I can see already for these potatoes I'm going to want to add about a half a cup more of milk only because they stiffened up quickly. Some potatoes in the same proportions will be a little bit drier, some will be a little bit wetter. I like to add that cup of milk to start when I'm dealing with six potatoes and then I can add a little bit more milk as needed. If you add two cups of milk at the start and they come out really soggy, then there's really no way to remove that milk. You're going to have to make some more potato and throw it into the mix. So be a little bit on the conservative side when you start to add the milk. And there you can see it. I'm getting a very nice, rich and creamy consistency out of the potatoes. And if you don't like any lumps at all, keep on going. Keep on going and sample it until all of the lumps are out. If you don't mind a little bit of lump, and some people like some texture to it, then you can leave a little bit in. I think these look like they're mashed perfectly to my taste. And now what I'm going to do is take our green onion and just stir it into the potato. Mm. So this comes out kind of like when you have those baked potatoes with green onions. 
And, you know, I mean, if you want to, you can throw some sour cream on top of it, I guess on the side. You know how people add butter to their mashed potatoes? So you're more than welcome to flavor it the way you want. But to be honest with you, with the milk and the butter and the green onion, to my taste, this comes out as a perfect dish. And the green onion is cooking a little bit because the mashed potato is so hot, but not so much that it becomes limp. So it has a little bit of a crispness to it, which is what I like in this dish. So I'm just evenly distributing the green onion into the mashed potatoes. Mmm. You are going to like this one. And again, it does add some good flavor and some good nutrition into your potato dishes. So congratulations, look at what you just did. You just made delicious and nutritious green onion mashed potatoes. Now if you go to my website, stepbystepchef.com, you will find a printable recipe for this dish. You'll also find printable recipes and step-by-step -step videos for dozens of other dishes from omelets to Chinese food to Italian to Mexican, you name it, you're going to find it there. So I am Larry Richardson. I am your step-by-step -step chef, and I'll see you in the next episode.